In this video we will learn all the features and functionalities of Brave's Visual Editor. The Visual Editor has three sections. The Editor, where you can visually create your campaign. The Goal menu will let you select the goal of your campaign. And the Settings page where you can set when, how and to whom your campaign will appear. The Editor itself has three panels. The Elements panel, the Canvas, and the Elements Settings panel. Brave has 20 built-in elements like text, images, videos, forms, and more. You can simply drag and drop them to the canvas area to create your campaign. To change the element settings, simply click the element and change the settings from the element settings panel. You can also right-click on each element to open the context menu of that element and copy, duplicate, rotate and reposition them. By default, the elements are restricted inside the canvas. If you want to make them visible outside the canvas, you can simply enable the Break Free option. Brave also comes with various keyboard shortcuts for easier editing. You can hold down the control key and click multiple elements to select multiple elements. You can press control and the A key from your keyboard to select all the elements of the current step. You can use the arrow keys to move the elements. You can also directly edit the position values from the settings panel to precisely move the elements. By default, elements can be freely moved but if you want to automatically snap the elements to one another, you can enable the auto snap feature from the editor settings. You can press Ctrl C to copy the selected elements and paste them in the current step, another step, or another campaign by pressing Ctrl V. You can also cut elements by pressing the Ctrl key and the X key. To delete an element, select it and then press the delete key from your keyboard. You can also combine multiple elements into a group by selecting the elements and pressing Ctrl and G. To undo an action, you can press Ctrl plus Z. The Layers panel lets you quickly view all elements of the current step and organize, lock or hide them. Simply drag each element to reorder their positions. Click the lock button to lock the element in its position. When you lock an element, the element will be locked in its place and cannot be moved with your mouse. You can also hide elements by clicking the eye icon. You can open the context menu for each element by clicking the right mouse button on them. Each campaign can have multiple steps. To create a new step, simply click the plus icon. You can also duplicate a step by right-clicking on that step and selecting the duplicate step option. To reorder the steps, simply click and drag the steps from left to right. The first step will be always displayed first. The other steps will be displayed how you link them to each step. You can link each step to another one through the button element, text element, shape element, image element, and the form element. For example, to take visitors to another step when they click a button, simply insert a button and set the button action to your desired step. You can follow this method to link text, image, and shape elements to any step of the campaign. You can also send visitors to a certain step when they submit a form by configuring the form success action.
You can change the settings like size, placement, and animations from the step settings panel. If the step width is more than 400 pixels it's a good idea to create a separate layout for mobile by clicking the mobile layout mode. To preview your campaign, simply click the preview icon from the top. You can also undo and redo changes with the undo redo buttons. To publish your campaign, simply click the arrow icon beside the save button and click publish. Brave also lets you export presets that you can import on your current website or any other website that's using Brave. To export your current campaign, simply click the import export menu and then switch to the export tab and click the export button and a JSON file will be exported. You can later import the JSON file from the import tab. You can also save custom templates that you can use in the future for a similar campaign. Brave lets you import any of its 200 templates with just one click into your existing campaign. Just click the preset icon and click the import button over any of the templates. When you create a campaign in Brave, you should always set a goal for the campaign for better tracking and notification. If you want to make the goal of the campaign a button click or a form submission, you can simply select your goal type from the goal menus on top and then select desired goal type. If you set form submission or click as your campaign goal, make sure you selected the element that you want to track. Once the goal is completed by a visitor, the campaign conversion will be updated in real time that you can view from the campaigns page. You can also get a real-time notification with visitor details sent to your email. Now that you have a solid understanding of how the visual editor works, you will be able to design any kind of widgets effortlessly on your own.